Hi, it's Jill with Quick Flex and working on finishing up some centerpieces here tonight. Um, and it is of trolls. Jenna has already done the cutouts and they're ready to go. Um, and she put some moss on this little guy as a vest. I'm using moss and rocks to accent on the bases. And again, I'm using the bases that I get the wood that my husband stains and puts a wood in the bottom to stabilize this base. I've decided I like these far, far more than the white bases. And here we got the little tiny one. Is she ever cute? Oh, let me see though. This one I think I might use. Yeah. I will use this base. Although she, <laughs> she's cute. These are one foot. But most of her, one foot is her hair. And let me see what I'm going to do on her. Um, these are so cute. I love this theme. I don't know how many pieces I've got here. And I thought I was going to be doing more decorating on the bases. Kind of giving you an uh, update what's going on. Um, some things we're going to be starting to work on for the holidays is some wood pieces. Uh, my husband and I went in and got a planer. I shouldn't say we went. He did. He got the wanted a planer to be able to smooth out our wood real well and make it a little thinner. And we're going to be making different kinds of things like mug holders. And I don't know what all we've got. I've got a whole, whole list of things that we're going to be working on. We will be doing some stenciling. I do not believe we will be using vinyl, but that is a decision yet to be determined. Um, I just don't, I don't know at this point, I don't know. But we have everything all set up to start making sawdust. Uh, my husband was working on the, got the planer, he built a, uh, a table for, with wheels on it. So all of his, his electrical or his equipment is built on these wood table or these stands bolted down but with wheels on them so you can he's got it arranged immaculately I tell you it's awesome and he's got everything just in order for him to be able to move anything when he needs to and easily he had me test it to make sure I could move it that way he knew if I could move it anybody could move it I switched out and put a little bit bigger base on this one. These are also the same thing, hollow wood. However, um, the bigger base on some of these piece, pieces that might have a tendency to, to, to tip, I'm better off using this larger base. So, I am going to add some more goodies to that. A um, little update on my mother. Um, things have not been going very well. Um, at all and she called me this evening to tell me to move her back to her hometown where she was from and put her back in her house and she was going to live by herself so I spent a, quite a while on the phone with her because she does not realize she can't live by herself um, and I absolutely I, I just cannot even fathom how incredibly awful it would be for her to have not only moved out of her house, she said to me, get me all my things and move me back. But before when she moved up here, she had an estate sale and um, no longer has things other than this, her clothes. I mean, um, that was the whole point of the estate sale. She didn't sell the house yet, still has that, but it's a six bedroom house that there's no way that she could live by herself. She couldn't even if it was a one bedroom. Um, she couldn't live by herself. She doesn't understand why. And I think that the issue going on was she just misses, when she was living with us, she saw my kids every day and she doesn't anymore. So I've got to work out something that she sees everybody a little bit more and see if that will help her state of mind. Hoping that will work. And I'm hoping it will become less stressful to me because if she's doing good. I'm doing, I shouldn't say good, it's still not easy, but I'm doing better. 
So, oh, look at this big guy. Man, for a two-footer, he sure came out big. I hope he doesn't tip over on this stand. Well, I don't. I do believe he's going to tip over on the stand. That peg isn't in the right spot. I'm going to have to move it and put one elsewhere. So let me grab one here and see if I can open it up and move this peg over. Ugh. Not looking good, guys. <coughs> yep. Oh, yeah, see, it was meant to be right there because it didn't cut empty him. And I want to make it, there we go. Thankfully, she hadn't glued that whole thing down. So what I'm going to do, Jenna, whoops, I think I already said Jenna did these. And Amy did the Wii Rustlers, Raw or whatever it is called, which I just finished, but I did not film. However, I'm going to put pictures on the trailer um, of this because it was so cool. She took the boxes, the Kind of boxes to have those marked on the cardboard boxes the five by five by five boxes that I have that come with the lid on them the, the lid isn't a separate piece it's all in one I have them in four by four by fours and I have them in five by five by fives and I have them in six by six by six the difference with those again is that the box here's one of them right here if I can pick this up Oh, in there went Branch. Oh, Branch, I hope you're okay. Oh, my. So sorry, little man. Ooh. Slipping by here. And now I just knocked Poppy over. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I need a bigger office. A big, bigger office means I'm going to be taking on more work. I don't know, guys. I'm supposed to be retired. Not looking too good for me here. Not very retired, that's for sure. Anyway, they're these kind of boxes. And absolutely love them. I put, my husband makes me plaques, wood, two by two, uh, they're two by fours, but he cu cuts them in chunks that I could put on the back of the cover. And they work awesome. So I've got every kind of box imaginable for my pieces. So, got that gone. Now I need to cut this peg down. And I put it right in the middle because I knew I would still have, yeah, um, this still wasn't going to hit. Or I'll have to use this one. It's smaller. If I can get it in there. Come on, come on. I'm trying to get the peg in there. Come on. There we go. Got it. Yeah. No, <laughs> no I didn't. It wasn't dry, so the peg went right, right up. Okay, I gotta give that one a minute, guys. It's not dry yet. I can still feel that it. it's warm. But when I was pushing it in there, I pushed the peg right up, right up into his belly. So I'll have to figure out which one he's gonna balance on. And I thought all of these were from that theme, and they are not. I have a Lion King here that's all done. Um, these are 18 inch pieces and they have the faux fur on the tails, glitter up on the crown. Um, that one, I will put these all up on bases. And love, Jenna did these. And the tails look awesome. The little tufts. So there's Big Die and the Warthog. I believe that was, I can't remember his name. That was Timon and, oh. oh. Yeah, we love working with this fur. However, <laughs> this fur goes everywhere. I like the way she did his because it flops standing up here. It's awesome. And he's going bald here. There we go. Not a big deal. There we go. I might put a little spray on that one. Um, I, didn't, I don't know if I showed you this one on Poppy. I used the hot pink um, fur for her wild hairdo. They... A lot of fur up your nose and all over the place, but it just, the finishing touch is awesome. I had somebody, well, I'm not going to get into that. Somebody um, grabbing the same exact thing, but I guess that's my doing for 
I'm mumbling here. Ignore me. Everything that I just said, I said nothing. Okay. Then we have that one. I will get them up on bases, take some pictures. Oh, and I believe his name is Timon. Pretty sure that's what it is. Timon, and what is the warthog's name? I don't know. I don't remember. Now, I'm going to take and cut this one down a little bit. And, whoa, that flew, <laughs> that flew all the way across the room and landed in my greenery that's hanging on the back wall. Me. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Now, hoping, come on, is that other foot? Yep, that's good. That'll be good. I got all the bases here. I got it covered, guys. This is going to be very, very short and sweet, trying to give you an idea of what will be coming. Um, because we're going to be doing a little bit of everything. I've got some popcorn boxes that I'm doing, and they are all going to be in Black Panther. So I've got these glittered and ready to go. A couple different designs of the Panther. And I'll be putting those on these boxes. And what else do I have going on here right now? Nothing. I'm trying to finish these here and get the moss on them and that's pretty much it. I just kind of want to give you an idea of this doing this with the with the fake fur. The hot pink I actually had to get online. It was very very hard to find that. that. So anyway that's about it. Very 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 short but I will put up a bunch of pictures. Okay everyone have a great night and thanks for watching. Bye bye.